So let's talk about the strongest patch 9.18 comps. And uh, we're going to start off with the first one here, which I still think is the strongest comp. This comp was the strongest in 9.17, which is the Void Assassin comp. So we're looking at Kassadin as your main carry here. He's going to have a Rapid Fire Cannon, Infinity Edge, and Yuma's Ghost Blade. And you're going to see Kassadin just killing so many stuff. And with the Void True Damage bonus, um, he just does up to like 10,000 damage. It's insane. I feel like if you don't have one of these items on Kassadin, he is a little bit weaker, but it's still a top four build. So as long as you make Kassadin into an assassin with the Yuma's Ghost Blade, Void Assassins are really strong. So you can see the other assassins here. We got Zed, Evelyn, Pike, Rangar, Kha'Zix is usually what I end up with. And the reason why I choose Zed over the other ninjas is because I think he's actually the strongest ninja um, in terms of versatility because he comes out early on um, before Akali and he's actually very easy to get to three stars as well. So when you have a three star Zed, it's just a lot better to use than Akali at two stars, for example. And if you actually itemize Zed as well, he's very, very strong. So I like Zed as my ninja assassin in this build. And uh, normally these are the six assassins we have. Now for Cho'Gath, you don't need to have the Yuma's Ghost Blade, but if you ever do get another one, I like to slap it on him, make him, make him into an assassin. Because Cho'Gath Assassin can be very deadly as well uh, when he gets a higher amount of crit damage. You can also give him more items as well if you want to make Cho'Gath into a carry. He's still very strong. Now, if you don't have a Kassadin, which is the weaker, I'm going to be talking about the weaker 6 Assassin build. So instead of Kassadin, you're going to replace him with, let's say, a Katarina. You'll have 6 Assassins, right? And Or let's say you don't have a Yuma's Ghost Blade. So if there's no Kassadin, there's another Assassin in this place. Then you're gonna make Rengar into your carry. So these are the items that still work on him. Rapid Fire Cannon, Guardian Angel, Bloodthirster, which has been working for him ever since. Rengar is still really, really strong if you make him into a carry. So this is this would be the weaker assassin build. The strongest assassin build right now is making Kassan into a carry. So this is something you can still kind of force if you get the right items. So give this build still a shot because it's still deadly and extremely good in rank mode. All right, the second comp is six shapeshifters and some dragons. This comp, once again, was very strong in patch 9.17 and still seems to do very well in 9.18. So the first champion we have here is Gnar, and Gnar is still really strong, as you guys know. So he's going to be part of the six shapeshifters. You're going to have, in fact, all the shapeshifters, of course, which is going to be Shivana, Swain, Jace, Nidalee, Elise. And then for the dragon synergies, you can have Aurelian Soul or Pantheon, or you can have both. So Pantheon is not a mandatory, he's just a filler. Um, but the more dragons you have on the board, uh, the better your team is going to be because you have three champions, for example, here that have basic um, magic immunity makes it really difficult for your opponents to kill. And six shapeshifters are really good, of course, because they get so much more extra health. Their favorite item is Warmogs. Honestly, you can just build tons of Warmogs on these champions. I love to put it on Shivana, um, Swain, or Nar because these three champions t uh, are are your strongest shapeshifters. So basically, you just build tons of Warmogs on your shapeshifters. Uh, Guardian Angels are really good, of course. You know, put it on Swain, Nor, or Shivana, they'll just come back to life. Morellos is also still really good on Swain. But six shapeshifters, still a really strong build with dragons. Magic immunity makes it extremely difficult for you, your opponents to kill. That's the whole point of using shapeshifters. They get tons of health when they transform. They have lots of crowd control. They have lots of magic immunity with dragons and they do tons of damage. So this is still a top four build, extremely strong. Most likely will get you to first place if you have exactly six like this with some really good items on your champions. So the next comp we're gonna take a look at here is the Rangers. And Rangers are still really good in the patch 9.18. And I think they're actually better now than before in patch 9.17. I've also seen lots of opponents use rangers now in rank mode. They're highly competitive. And this new item right here, the sword breaker that just got buffed to 33% chance to disarm for three seconds um, is really good on rangers right now. This is something that a lot of players use for Ash. And when Ash attacks really fast, so you have something like Runan's and Gwinsu's Rage Blade, which will get her attack speed up to like 5.0, possibly, right? Um, she gets to disarm your entire opponent's team really fast. And what disarm basically does is your opponent's champions cannot attack. So they'll just stand still and they'll just look stupid. So they'll just 
get frozen by her glacial stun, and then they'll also get disarmed for three seconds. So you'll just see your opponent standing still and they'll just end up dying. So that's why Swordbreaker now with the new buff is really good. And it's a very good item on champions that can auto attack really fast. And the fastest auto attacking comp is Rangers. So this item is really good on someone like Ash. And of course with your Ranger build, I'm just showing you guys the core. So the core six champions is the four Rangers. Of course, you got, you, you're gonna wanna have these four and then you can have Mordkaiser and Sejuani as the main Knights. You need to still have the Phantom bonus to wipe out a unit from your opponent's side. And Sejuani is still really strong. And then for, you know, uh, for two more champions that you can add to this build, it's up to you depending on what you get. So I'm just showing you guys the core of the Rangers. If, as long as you have this, these six champions and then you build something like Swordbreaker, um, you will do really well. Make sure you give Ash more attack speed items, of course, because if you don't have attack speed items on uh, Rangers, they're gonna attack too slow. So make sure you still give um, some recurve bow items for your Ash, Varus, or Kindred. Fourth comp we'll take a look at is the Draven comp, Draven and Knights. This one is four Imperials, four Knights. So now four and six Knights um, damage block got increased so the knights did get a buff so when you have four knights now you get to block up to what is it 35 damage which is a little bit higher than before and draven is still really good and this is still something you can do because there aren't many players going for draven so if you ever get to see him and you have these kind of items on him so rapid fire cannon is really good on him bloodthirster is really good on him gwen is really good it can really get him up to 5.0 attack speed as well possibly and then ideally you want to have four Imperials by the late game with Darius, Swain, and Katarina so everyone gets double the attack damage. Four Knights, ideal choice is Kale, Darius, uh, Poppy, and Sejuani. And this build is really, really good. So as long as your Draven doesn't die and you got a lot of Knight protection, you're going to do well. So make sure you position your champions well and this build's still going to work. Now, if you don't have four Imperials, so you don't, let's say you don't have a Swain, then just drop the Swain and Katarina, and then you can put in six Knights possibly. So I've seen this before as well. Six Knights is also stronger than before because now they get 65 damage blocked and it makes Draven really hard to kill, especially when he has a Bloodthirster. He's, he's healing a lot and there's a lot of damage being blocked. So you can also do six Knights and Draven, which might be easier to pull off without Swain. But there you go, the four Imperials, four Knights is still a pretty good build. Now for the Noble comp, uh, it's still pretty much the same as patch 9.17, but I've noticed that in patch 9.18 It's a little bit harder to pull off because you don't get a five gold champion until level seven So what does that mean? You can't get a kill until seven before you could get kale at level six And I've also noticed that kale doesn't show up early enough in the shared carousel phase with the other five gold champions Like before I don't know if they changed the shared carousel system um, in terms of uh, the five gold champions appearing, uh, but I find it a little bit more challenging to get Kale, mainly because you can't get five gold champions at level six anymore. So because of that, forcing nobles is a little bit more challenging and I would not recommend you force nobles every game. It's something you could have actually done in patch 9.17. I'm not kidding, last patch, we could literally just force nobles every single game because most players were going for shapeshifters and assassins so that really left the nobles open and uh, it was very easy to pick them up kale it also would have shown up at level six quite frequently but because kale can't show up until level seven um now this build is just not as good because you might not survive to that point and if you don't then uh yeah collecting all these nobles were a waste you might as well just go for another comp but if you can still get the six nobles up it's still good i've tested it out from 9.18 it's still a top four comp if you can get it up and make sure you got jinx as well because jinx synergizes with uh, lucian and make sure you give her all your carry items and this build is pretty good um, I've tested it out, so you make like Gnar into a sorcerer. It's not really necessary to make him into a sorcerer, but you, um, it's good because you can synergize him with Aurelian Soul and Ari. So you got three sorcerers right there, and then you have shapeshifters with Gnar, Shivana, Nidalee, and you get the four wild bonus with the Rangar as well. So everyone gets high attack speed, and then I like to have two knights with Sejuani and Poppy. Um, you could also replace Sejuani with Kennen, and you can have three Yordles yourself. 
but I do like the night bonus and Sejuani comes with some extra crowd control so it's pretty good. And I tend to give my items to Ari because I get her early on in the game so this is a type of build I go for if I get a lot of Ari's in the beginning and then I decide to just go into Sorcerers because there aren't a lot of players that are using a lot of Sorcerers right now. So it's relatively easy to pick up Ari. So, you know, this type of build is still quite strong. And um, yeah, you could you could definitely build something like Yumi's on Cannon, uh, sorry, on Nar. Or uh, if you don't have Yumi's, instead of Sejuani, you could put in a third Sorcerer if you wanted the Sorcerer bonus. But the four wild bonus is pretty good uh, because everyone gets high attack speed. You know, all these champions getting high attack speed is a good thing. And you won't dodge any of your um, your opponents won't be able to dodge any of the attacks, so it's pretty good. For the final comp, this comp is similar to the last comp I just showed you, but we have some phantoms. So we have Karthus and Mordkaiser, two knights, Mordkaiser with Poppy, and then you got the Yordles, Poppy, Cannon, Nar, with some dragons, Aurelian, Soul, Shivana, and Ari for a sorcerer bonus. And this comp is pretty strong. So you got a phantom bonus, which means you're gonna delete somebody for sure. Karthus is still still really good. He's very underplayed. So if you ever get Karthus's, um, I would recommend you go into something like this. And you can also give Karthus uh, a lot of uh, ability power items. Same thing, you can do it for Ari. You can give her a whole bunch of ability power items, just like Kennen. Something I like to put on Kennen, of course, uh, is the Guardian Angel. Morello's is a really good combo on him and uh, he can just stun everybody in your opponent's side. Wormogs, still really good item for your tanks like Shivana and Nar. But this damage can wipe out um, enemy champions pretty fast because you have a lot of sorcerers. You also have a phantom bonus, you got Yorl dodge, uh, you got dragon magic immunity, so it's pretty good. So there you go, guys. Um, I've shown you guys quite a lot of comps here for patch 9.18, and uh, all of these comps are really good, and if you can pull them off with the right items, you can position your champions well. It's a guaranteed top four. A lot of the comps are st that, that were strong in 9.17 are still strong in 9.18 because there weren't many changes from 9.17 to 9.18 in terms of the champion balances so the meta has kind of settled it's kind of slowed down so a lot of the comps that are strong are still going to be quite strong so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time